Hello, it's Oak here, and welcome back to another hard spaceship breaker guide. So, today I'm going to show you how to remove an Atlas Quasar engine. Um, there are two ways to do it. There's a, there's a safe way and there's a fast way. So, I'll show you both ways of doing it. So, um, you got to basically pop the... Where is it? Pop the, the hatch off. Get rid of that. And then, what you're doing is you're looking for the cut point there and you pop around the other side of it and you pull this bit off and you're looking for that then what you do is you cut that and send this off down to the barge done dealt with Right, then you're looking for coolant canisters. Let's see if he's got any coolant canisters around here, because this is the safe way. Right. Salvage secured. There aren't any Ready coolant canisters. Positive. Right, so what you can do if there's no coolant canisters on one of them, you can go look on the other side. But unfortunately, you've got there's only there's only a limited number of coolant canisters. That's fine though, because if there's a limited number of coolant canisters, what we'll do is we'll um. Or, well, we'll show you both ways, it's fine. You'll be fine. Right, there's two cooler canisters there, so cool. This one's got loads, so if you can't, if at first you don't succeed, go get one from the other side. Typical, isn't it? Right. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. And then what you do is you give this a little dink against the side here. Dink, and then what you do is you spray all the way around here with this. Then you put this canister here just leave oh it goes off and away right and then what you do is you attach a tether to the back of the thing there so it gets pulled out straight away oh dear but the safe way I've made it less safe by not freezing one of them but it's still gonna go it just means there's no fire there's gonna be a little bit of fire here. that's fine that comes out of the way dodge that obviously and then you go down the down the corridor here quickly as you can and pull it and then it breaks apart and you are free to deal with these other bits around the side here and get rid of all the rest of it and I think that's the main bit and then what you do here right so that, that and that was it that was the, how you do that bit and then there's the fast way so the fast way is you cut that obviously take the panels off that get rid of that do that get rid of that and then obviously attach the tether to the back wall here again and then the fast way is this you just line yourself up and you go without cooling it there's only one problem here you might get a little bit singed but this is faster Coming out there, Frank. Right, so now we just try and do this without getting burned. We're probably going to get burned, so try and avoid getting burned. There you go. Oh, no, we didn't get burned. I mean, I have got the un unlimited health because this is the free play, but I mean, it's fine. And boom. Last way. And then obviously. It's just the rest of the engine you've got to pull apart. Uh, interesting things to note about these Quasar engines, that these, these bits of um, material operate weirdly. So my advice is, hook them from the end you wouldn't think you'd hook them from. So just shift them out like that. And just took them from the other end. And, and then you can just have a massive fight with them, like I, I always do. You can probably best to give them a shove as well, because they're annoying. There you go. But they should go in. But they are horrible to work with. I really don't like them. As you can see, it's they're not they're not easy to uh, move around these bits. But what I would do is it. Are you 
you attach to them? No, you're not. I would attach a tether to this end. Weirdly, you'd think you'd attach them to that end, but you don't. And then, and you shove it. There you go. Shove it from the other end, and it will it will go. And that's my that's my uh, trick to doing these. There you go. It's a, they're really annoying though. These are the most annoying engines ever. So, um, and obviously important. Don't forget these little bits you leave at the back here because they're worth money, and what you need is money in this game. So, um, that's weird. Well, wow, whatever. And again, just attach that to the end there. Maybe a couple of tethers. These things are irritating. Come on, get lost, you. No one likes you. Get in there. You, you have to give them a bit of a shove, these engines. They don't really, they're not very well behaved. As you can see, it can be done, and it can be done pretty quick. Um, and then obviously you've just got these little bits, and my advice would be to pop the fuel out of these. Don't slam the fuel into the um, the ship as you're doing it. And then obviously you can cut these bits off. I won't do it for both sides. And just throw it in the barge. And I mean you could cut the whole thing off actually, probably. I mean you could probably do that a lot quicker by doing it that way. But <laughs> and there we go. So I think what I'm gonna say is thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, share, comment. It's all great. And I'll, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. And if you've got any other ideas for things you want to know doing Shipbreaker, give us a shout. Leave a comment and I'll read it and, uh, and I'll do a guide for you. If I can. All right. Later.